It's very special to be a part of a Christmas movie. My husband and I love Christmas is our favorite time of year. We watch Christmas movies all the time. The fact that I get to now be in one and then show my daughter when she gets big, just very, very honored. Saying that I, I got to work with Eddie Murphy and Tracy Ellis Ross, who I love dearly, and it was so cool to be able to just be on set with them, and, and it was great. It was fun to be a part of the scene where the birds are flying above and they're throwing eggs at us and the egg lands on us. That It was it was very particular. We had one take because my hair, we'd have to go wash my hair and blow dry it and style it all over again, so we had to get it right that one time. I was so honored when the director came to me and asked me to create the music for the opening of the movie and the closing. So it was amazing to do two of my favorite covers and I even get to perform it tomorrow. I already taped it for NBC's Rockefeller special, so I'm very excited. It means so much to me and the movie's great by the way. I got to have a little link to watch a couple weeks ago, so I'm happy to be here to celebrate it and hear the songs I created for it on the big screen with legends like him and Tracy who I love so much, so I'm just honored to be amongst black excellence. Oh man, I'm so excited. Uh, it's one of my favorite projects I've ever done, and it's with uh, the legend himself. And uh, you just couldn't ask for a better, better team, man. Him and Reggie made Boomerang, which is also like my favorite movie of all time. So it was just like cool to be a part of history, you know what I mean? It was awesome because my favorite Eddie Murphy is the one that yells and, and cusses at you. <laughs> and it, while this is a family movie, I got to get that energy as in my character, so it was dope. It was also like having like a big brother around that you really want to impress because you're always trying to, you know, whisper your jokes a little louder on set. Uh, I'm just glad I get to uh, have a movie that my little cousins can watch because I'm not really PG in my comedy. So it's finally I got something I can share with them. Well, first of all, this is my first ever movie. I'm so excited to be in the Amazon family. Shout out to Reginald Hudlin, Eddie Murphy, and Kelly Younger for having me in this film. Audiences are going to love this film. And it's also very unexpected. I would say it's holiday with an edge. It's a little bit of a thriller. You'll be surprised. <laughs> Literally working with Tim was a masterclass and I just love working with Reginald Hudlin. I mean, Boomerang is one of my favorite movies of all time. And I have to say, just being in a film, seeing my name alongside Eddie Murphy is just taking me down. <laughs> I am so honored. This has been a lifelong dream to work with him. And so I'm just pinching myself today. I can't believe it's real. Baby cooking, okay? We do a big Jamaican holiday, so we're gonna have black cake, oxtails, jerk chicken, jerk turkey, rice and peas, plantains. That's my favorite part of the holidays is the food. And the gifts, yeah, but the food is the best part. <laughs> it's really great. You know, the last time I worked with Eddie uh, and Reggie's 30 years ago on Boomerang, so I didn't know it would take this long, but we just picked up right where we left off. It was just fun. It was fun to be with Eddie and those guys and just gossiping, catching up on old times and uh, teasing Reggie and all of our kids are grown. I didn't even have kids before. Probably Eddie's the only one who had kids. So our brand new tradition is I have this little dinky tree that I keep on top of the washing machine. I just put it on the kitchen table, so that's it. We're saving forests. And that's our new tradition, no more trees. I, had, I used to get a 10-foot tree, uh, then it was an 8-foot tree, then it was a 6-foot tree, now it's a little dinky fake tree. It's a part of the, uh, 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 the, the, the cultural tradition, especially working with the OG like Eddie Murphy, man, you know what I'm saying, Tracy Ross, you know what I'm saying, David Allen Grill. It's just a blessing to be amongst this amazing uh, 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 cast and this ensemble. I mean, it's a wholesome film. It's a film that you can watch with the family, and, and not only that, it's, a, it's, a, it's it got great comedy in it, and, and, and we got great substance, and when you got an amazing cast like this, it's, it's it's not saying like it's hard to fail, it's just hard not to have fun. Just the spirit of giving, just seeing the faces of others when you give and, and knowing that God bless you and, and allows you to have the strength to, 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 to give the old blessing to others, I think that's the best part. I'm very excited. I've never done a Christmas movie before. And you could bring your whole family. Yeah, that's what made me want to do it. It was unique. The Kelly Young who wrote it wrote something unique and I hadn't done anything a Christmas movie, so it was, this is a great, unique thing to do and, and it came out good I think like with Christmas movies you want to be able to watch them over and over again you know so every Christmas so I think they can watch this like that. it was almost like when you have your Christmas uh, decorations up for like you know uh, uh, two weeks into New Year's 
Yeah. I'm I'm still pinching myself. It has not yet hit me. I mean, it's a star-studded cast. I look up to so many of the people that I got to work with, and it's truly just been an honor. I always really enjoy when I get to learn a new skill. Uh, so I was running track a lot. I should probably work out more. But um, I was running a lot of track and training with a wonderful coach that got me in shape for that. And uh, it was a challenge for me, but it was probably my most fun part. The crew did an incredible job. It was Christmas magic every single day for like three months for us filming it, but every detail, like nothing went unnoticed and it was truly flawless and encapsulated everything that I feel like Christmas is. It's fantastic. Like we, we need a good Christmas movie. We're, we're, we're down. An, an Eddie Murphy Christmas comedy? Please. Honestly, this is one of the first movies I've done where I'm like every single scene was fun to do because it was such a wild character. If I had to pick, I would say the first time that I walked in and saw the the, what production had done with the shop that I work at, I was blown away. Everywhere you turned, every scene you were doing, you were like, oh, I get to work with someone new uh, today, and I'm a big fan of all of them. Robin Thede and I did a project together, so I was so excited to reunite with her. Um, there's amazing people in this. David Allen Greer, Eddie Murphy, Tracy Ellis Ross. I mean, it, it, the list goes on and on, and every everybody was wonderful to work with. I think the action. I think it's surprising how action-packed it is, and there's a little bit of horror, but just enough for kids to be able to still watch it. It's manageable, but I think that's fun. We don't really see that usually in Christmas movies, so I think there's a little something for everybody in this film. I mean, to say this is a dream come true is an understatement. Uh, I had this idea in my head based on personal family experience, and to be able to bring it to life at this level is extraordinary and I'm, I'm so grateful to Amazon for taking a risk on an original project so I'm just thrilled. I think it's a combination of classic Christmas movie with all the, uh, all the, all the feel-good warmth that you would expect, all the joy. I think there's a lot of action, there's obviously a lot of comedy clearly with Eddie Murphy and Tracy Ellis Ross and our incredible cast um, but I think ultimately it's about joy for me. I think it's going to be a classic that families will watch year after year. That's what I wanted. Our incredible director, Reggie, wanted me by his side. Uh, we worked through scenes, we collaborated with the actors, so it was incredible. But then walking on that lot and seeing the, the, the street that was in my imagination, but also in my childhood, was just extraordinary. I couldn't be happier. Well, we have an annual Candy Cane Lane party. We really do. Since our kids have been uh, babies and strollers, we would meet at my mom and dad's house who live up the street. We have a cocoa station. We take everybody down to the lane when Santa gets on his fire truck and lights up all the houses. Um, but also, we love family Christmas movies. That's what we do as a family every year. We hop on the couch with blankets and popcorn and the dogs, and we watch, we watch all the great classics. Our family, the Carvers, are going on a mission. They have a mission to get the rings and defeat the elf and save Christmas for the entire family. I'm so excited. I mean, from the moment I heard about this and read the script and, you know, I enough, enough of my life has gone by that it did, never seemed like I would get to do a film with Eddie Murphy and Tracy and, you know, the rest of these of these brilliant actors. And so everything about it was very Christmassy. Going to work, you know, do, doing this brilliant family comedy full of like action, and uh, I, I've been over the moon. So I can't wait for people to see it because it's an incredible new twist on the Christmas movie. I come from a wonderful big uh, family in a little town in Illinois, and so it, it's very traditional. Uh, they decorate a beautiful tree, and Megan and I always get a live tree, and we love to decorate it. It's mainly mainly just an eating contest, you know. Everybody brings their signature dish. Uh, I love to be in charge of the mashed potatoes, and I, I I always try to figure out how much butter is too much butter in the mashed potatoes, and I, I haven't found the limit yet. Yeah, you watched the movie. Uh, my friend John Legend, I did some Christmas albums with him, and so I was already know how to get in the mood and. Uh, even early in the year, you know, but this was closer to Christmas. So um, I watched the movie, and the movie is so great. It was easy for me to like start composing something for the film. It's such a relief because 
when we were making the movie, we were so excited. Oh my God, wait till people see this. Oh my God. So now people get to see it and laugh and have a great time. The great thing about making a movie with Eddie Murphy is that you attract the best people. And Eddie and Tracy are, the chemistry is off the charts. They're so funny, they're so charming. It's a win. My son was always like, Dad, we're gonna make a movie for us. So I feel like I fulfilled my dad promise professionally by making Candy Cane Lane. The movie makes people happy. That's all I want. Right now, there's nothing we need more than a movie that brings the family together and we laugh and have a good time. Unbelievably excited. I'm so excited that this is my first project back. Um, and it's with people that I'm just obsessed with. I mean, Eddie Murphy, Tracy Ellis Ross, Nick Offerman, Chris Red, like Jillian Bell, all these amazing people. I'm just so honored. And to work with director uh, Reggie Hudland is just amazing. Honestly, the most fun was that because we're animated, me, Nick, and Chris got to play so much. So we would go on set with Eddie and Tracy and the kids, and we would rehearse as scripted, and then we would get to just kind of let loose and have fun. And so much of what we did was, was through improv and play. I mean, it's crazy. You know, uh, I'm blessed to be in such an amazing film. It was cold night shooting. I'm glad to like just see it all come together, and I'm just, I'm just blessed to be here for it. And it was amazing because they're both hilarious. So it was a lot of jokes on set. Also, the first movie I ever did was with Reggie Hudlin, so he's actually directing this as well. So it was, it was amazing just to come back and all of us to just, you know, work again. Which he's one of my favorite directors I ever worked with. And working with Eddie was hilarious. <laughs> he really, really funny. Really cool. Tracy, the same, hilarious. Like, it was just fun on set. We had a ball. Um, it was cold. It was actually very seasonal. It was the, the time period when it snowed in LA. So it was perfect. We were very much in the Christmas spirit. What a cast. We were laughing a lot. It was fantastic. Well, it was a bit of a dream come true. I mean, I, you know, like the rest of the world, I've been a fan of Eddie's forever. He's so funny and so talented. But the thing that I got to experience that was really special is he's also just a wonderfully generous actor and a really sweet person. And we would sit in, you know, in between takes in front of the heaters just telling stories and going back and forth. And I felt like I had to bring my best storytelling forward. <laughs> but we had a ball.